even with y'all I, niggas, like I love y'all <laughs> niggas to death, but y'all start talking about the same shit over and over again about bro. The first time I cared, the second time I was like, Yeah, I remember that shit. The third time I was like, bro, you don't remember telling me that? The fourth time I was like, All right, nigga. I tell you, I tell you, you got four times with Kev. I ain't got, yeah, you got well, you one got time. I mean, I don't, if you, you got, always got to get used to that with Kev because Kev tell you the same thing over and over again. I, I do, but it'd be like, that'd be funny See, shit. I'll be forgetting that niggas no nigga. chances, but he need all the chances. All the chances. <laughs> I, yo, I don't tell y'all negative shit. I might tell you, yo, man, this shit crazy. I tell nah, y'all why tell I'm so I told y'all this shit over. I'm like, yeah, nigga. I'm like, all right, my bad. That's but because I tell them if a person is like that every single day, you don't complain. No, well, I mean, not complaining. You're, I, normally, I, I, you'll you'll have a valid reason to have a complaint if you do complain, and it'll be the one time. And I figure that but, shit out. And if y'all yeah, give yeah, me yeah. advice, I actually listen. I like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I'll but that's it. what we come to each other for. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. the conversations aren't dead end. It's not just talking about nah. the same shit over and over again. Just to, at that point, you're just talking about yourself. You don't have nothing else to talk about. You're a boring ass individual. <laughs> and you got them up, and, and this is the this is the climax of your life at this. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo, that was that was funny. That shit had me dying. <laughs> Live on a Monday. I'm sorry. That's stupid shit like that be fucking with me, man. What are y'all talking about? Like, when y'all just, just start talking and bring nobody in the, the conversation. Messenger. Oh, the, we the messenger. If you had a, looked at the messenger or the group message. Nigga, I woke up on this shit. Like, I was like, like I said, it's been hot today. Hot, hot. hot. The word, bro. It's yeah, been it's, been, it's been crazy, man. Like, uh, I, huh? Dog, I found my new summer fragrance, bro. Found my new so, summer fragrance. I'm you? sorry, man. I don't got no men. I don't got no men to talk to. What the fuck? Left. I mean, you can find some new friends down there. <laughs> I got I got my homies at work. Like, you know what I mean? A couple of Haitian homies. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, com, com, I don't know what they say. I don't know what these niggas say. But, my um, Haitian guys. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> man, you bring some people, bring your motherfucking energy up, because that's what we're talking about, bad energy, motherfuckers that suck your shit down. Yeah, man, you're the king of bad energy. No, I ain't the king of bad. I, I try to stay away from, I try to stay away from negative people. I, I do, a, I really do a good job at it now. Like, before I used to kind of entertain that shit and try to hold on to motherfuckers like when i was younger i used to try to hold on to motherfuckers that had fucking very terrible fucking energy and you could just feel that shit this being put on you like you can feel your shit like you don't you don't want to hang out with your friends you don't want to fucking look good you don't want to feel good about yourself you don't even give a fuck how you look it's just ugh. that sound like you trying to keep a certain bitch in your life that's that's more, yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, like, that's hey, that, that that's that's mm-hmm. facts. Like niggas, hey, I think everybody has been that at that point where they try to keep a bad energy bitch around. Like let's let's hey yo, that let's is, all not act like we ain't most, been there because we all been there. Most I never had a bad energy bitch shit that you can do to yourself for real because <laughs> your energy sways completely. You know what I mean? Like with the people around you. Nigga, you start making it, it starts feeling like everybody's against you, but really you the you the one that's being the dickhead. You the problem. Energy is yeah. contagious. Energy is contagious. And yes. if you I, I I even even while I'm at work and we come in and everybody's like like everybody's like, Hey, all right, we're, we're good today. Let's start the day. It's like nigga, I don't want to do shit. Like, I don't want to go hard. Like I do, but I'm like, I don't want to go hard. But if a nigga come in, we joke and we laugh and the energy is up. It's a way better day, man. Way better day. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, would. Yeah, I mean, and you can feel that shit. Like, I always been, like, I try to be positive. I always try to keep a smile on my face. I always try to keep, I always try to be like an upbeat person. Even the people I hang around now, like, I, we were just talking. Oh, oh you got new friends? I ain't got no new friends. I got the same, same three friends in my family. But 
I was just talking, we were talking off air about that shit. Like I used to know a lot of people were hanging around a bunch of motherfuckers. And I think when I had my daughter, that shit got like had to condense. It's like, yo, certain motherfuckers you shouldn't be giving your time and energy to. Like they don't deserve it. Like people that ain't fucking trying to move in the right direction as you or 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 be pot on some positive shit. That's why I was like, I got condensed down to three, and then it's like y'all two, and there's a bunch of motherfuckers I know, and then it's my family. You know what I'm saying? And even when, and sometimes with family, man, you can love them from a distance. They just, you know, especially ones with that that bad energy. But like bad energy people, they the way they suck from your fucking life, they just come in when you first see them. It's like it's always a fucking problem. You ever notice that with bad energy? It's always a fucking problem. Like. Yes, oh, they always man. got a story about what somebody did to them. Always somebody said this, somebody did that. Every time you see them or see them talking to somebody else. No, bitch, it's you. You're the person that gets on everybody else's nerves. That's why somebody something's always happening to you. Man, I say this, I say this all the fucking time. Yo, pre-internet was so fucking pre-social media was so good because. Them bad energy people that you were cool with or was fa- it's like yo or family you didn't have to deal with their shit until you ran into the motherfucker you know what i'm saying it's like yo that's true that's actually really me, true let me avoid james today man because this nigga always is always something with this nigga jimothy yeah now james sends you a fucking friend request request it's like, oh my gosh, like every day this nigga going through something. Every day some fucking Girl. weird, depressing fucking quote. Like, damn, nigga is this nigga's Eeyore <laughs> from the one and two. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, I yo, man, I work with a nigga like that. Like you I work with he, Eeyore? I work with a niggas like Eeyore. Like every time you see this nigga, like it's some fucked up, always E or sad. So every time he sees me, I'm always smiling. I'm always in a good mood. So he always would say, like, he would say to me, oh, you're smiling today. What's so, what's so good today? I said, man, I woke the fuck up. Wow. Lucky you. Uh, Get God, away from had, me, dog. Had, lucky I'm, you, me, while he alive. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I woke lucky, fuck you. Up lucky you. I woke up dead inside. <laughs> yeah, there, you right. there you go. There you go. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's yo, depression man. is a real thing, though, bro. Like, I don't, don't know give what a that fuck. Nigga is, I don't, don't care know what that nigga's going through. You know, I don't care. So, man, nigga, listen. life could just, yeah. But you got to be able to separate yourself from that. You know what I mean? Like, you never know what type of effect you can have on a person, and a person can have on you. So when you come into that type of vibe and shit like that, sometimes you just gotta wish them blessings and and man. hope they have a good day. And be like, yeah, I got the go over here for the rest of the yeah. day you know you what know, I mean? you know, but yeah every day we can't do this every day you can't come into my space and then try to make try to bring me down with you and that could just be sharing i recommend if you need to if you're a person and i have no problem with people who do this but i, I know a lot of people who like unload on other people and then they get into a habit of unloading on other people get a therapist get yeah, a therapist yeah, yeah. or, or if, you're gonna, if you're going to be the one to, to unload on somebody like Normally, when a person has a conversation about the bullshit they're going through, you tend to give out a little bit of advice because what the fuck are you talking to me for if you don't want to hear the other person's side of what, you know, could be could have happened or what they may have gone through could be similar. So if a person is talking to you about some of the bullshit they're going through and they hear some advice and they actually take some of your some of your advice and heed and attempt to do it, but it doesn't work out for them, it's different. But if they just dare just rambling on and on about the shit that's going wrong for them with them not even trying to help themselves. You know what I mean? That shit is, that's just more annoying than anything. It's like, yo, I feel bad for you and and I want to help you, but nigga, I'm not helping you if you're not willing to help yourself in the least bit. No, I, think, I think motherfuckers like that shit, you know, if you really got a serious issue, this is a serious side of me. It feels as though you're that depressed. Please, if you're thinking about harming yourself, call the suicide hotline. Seek help. Seek Better help. Med- Better help than me, medical attention. Now, this is, this is the funny side of me. This has nothing. 
do some shit that's borderline that you think you're gonna die, like bungee jumping, parachuting, uh, free what's that free fall rock climbing? Shit that just scare you. You like ah, oh, almost died. You like you just wake up. You probably feel better. Like I almost died. I lived, and you, I feel better about myself. That type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do that. The way that works. It's not <laughs> at all. It, it, it has. He, was like, I'm glad he said it was a joking side. <laughs> it was like, I had to put it like that because almost I, I had think, to talk. I think fuck around and 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 bungee jump or skydive and make it and be like, oh, that's all I got to do. This, this is so much worse. <laughs> this, is, yeah. like, this is easy. Don't, don't, no, don't, don't jump off. Jump out of a plane with a parachute. Like you have uh, the near death experience, but you're going to live. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, no, I mean, get that little bit of negative out of your life. out of a plane and got caught by a net? No, I'm saying. I'm just well, saying. That was a little off topic, but did you see the nigga that jumped out of a plane? No. Had like 90,000 feet skydived into a net. I've, no, yeah, no. I, I was watching this and shit the get, other day. Incredible aim. I mean, what? you have to have incredible aim. Yes, they said the net was only like maybe the size of a football field or some shit like that. I don't remember exactly how big it was, but it was not big. This guy's a fucking crowd of people around it, and that seems like that's the type of shit you do when you just like you know what I don't care about this life no more. They, I'm gonna no. jump into a net, and then Let's you live, and you're like, I love life again. I'm just saying. I, I, no, I, I just no, don't know what to do with negative. Again. NDE I, I, is usually for people who, like, it's 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 profound actually. Like near death experiences, it's it's actually really profound. But I still think that it's meant for the person it's meant for. Like you can't force an NDE and get what you need to get from it. It has to just happen. Like you have to you have to. It's people who have died completely and will come back over and say. Okay, because of that specific experience, because of what I feel like I saw on the other side, now I know that there's something out there that I should be living for or that I should mm. be doing this for. Now I know what really matters. It's it's not a mind thing. It's more of a it's so it is a mind thing, but it's more of an emotional, spiritual thing that it's a dial that needs to be turned. And unfortunately, we can't hack it. I wish we could, but we can't. I wish we could because maybe it may be, you know, some of the, I think some of the negative people like that, you kind of need that to fucking move on with life. But then you got the other motherfuckers that's just the, 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 the miserable ones that wants to see everybody they around miserable with them. I think that's a mental like, illness. It is. Cause I've seen I people that be in fucked up situations and is miserable about their situation and won't fucking, and when the people they hang with positive in their life is doing well, they try to drag them down to that negative place that they are, and when the person kind of bucks the system, oh, you're really not my friend, or you really don't care about me. So let me get this straight. In order to care about you, I gotta feel exactly how you feeling. How about I pull you up to where the fuck I'm at? I said you trying to pull me down to where you're at. That's I seen they I seen people like that have happiness because they drag everybody down to the fucking same pits of hell they're in right now. Like, tell me I never seen. It. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that shit a lot. There's a skit on Saturday Night Live. It's quite famous it's where everybody was breaking. It's called Debbie Downer. Have you ever watched that skit? I wish I had yeah. it on me right now. I gotta watch where they're at Disney World and Lizzie Lohan is in the skit. And um, they're at Disney World and everybody's happy as shit. They ordering food and they sitting down, and the lady keeps saying like fucked up shit. Like, like they're talking about how happy they are to be there. And hey, give me the goofy pancakes with syrup. Oh man, this is the best time of my life. And the lady just looks up at the table and says, Well, it's official. I I can't have children. Like she just say <laughs> off the wall, off the wall shit to just bring everybody shit down. <laughs> yo, it's, it's, it's an amazing skit. Yeah, it is. Yo, but it's fucking people. It is really people out there. <laughs> yo, have a whole conversation and they'd be like, yeah, oh man. I think I, I think I might have Treat cancer. Yeah. I well, I, I mean, yeah, but no, but thing. listen, you'd be like, yo, oh shit. What happened? When you went to the doctor's father? 
I don't know. I got this spot in my arm. Oh, you got to check out. It might be cancer. No, but I think it might be. Exactly. So a doctor told you, 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 you got it. What's up? No, I just been feeling sick lately. I right, you didn't went to the doctors. You, you don't, you didn't get this spot checked out. You, maybe you just got the flu. No, I really think it's cancer. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's not that. funny, but there's people there. There's people out there <laughs> that legit do that shit. <laughs> You be genuinely concerned about it. Nah, nah, I got think cancer. Of, when I think about everything, I'm pretty sure it's cancer. It's like, <laughs> nigga, that's Come how you now. that's how you're confronting the situation. But the, the, he's talking about the Debbie Donna. It's people that literally do that, and you be like, yo, what happened? And and you be like, Well, you can fix that. No, no, I can't. I think no, it's just it's just too bad. That's that's a condition. Yeah, that, that's a person with a condition that. They had they have some type of issue, some type of narcissism that comes with that. Because if you're not getting, which I, I know there's people out there like that, but if you're doing shit like that, it's like, nah, bro, you need you need professional help and you need to get the fuck away from me. Yeah, but like, and they wonder, and it's a shame because they might have one or two friends, and you can just see the one friend they have, like they might have a person that's on the same level bullshit with them so they're happy and consent but it's always one person that who you see wants to be happy but it's kind of fucking stuck with this fucking uh just just fucking life draining yeah. motherfucker and it's like yo just get away from him, man I, listen man it's been how how do you time. how do you suggest they get away from him let's 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 man. let's let's dive into that having that having that person that Every time you get around them, they got an issue. Now, let's that's, that's not confuse a person going through a rough time with a person just love. draining your energy, and that's just what they do. Let's not confuse those two. No, because sometimes you just got to get off it, topic. You with them, like, yo, if you're not going to do nothing about the situation, there's no point in talking to me about it. I've had to say that to people before. It's <laughs> like, you're not going to keep talking to me about the same thing over and over again. With you not even attempting to do anything about it, nigga. Like, oh, but she left with my kids. What am I going to do? Well, I I mean, nigga, maybe I don't know. More than likely, you're going to be on child support at this point, my nigga. So she left. Ah, Damn. Expect to get something in the mail, and then when you get something in the mail, you better figure out that parenting time. But if you're not, but I still love her, bro. I don't care. Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited. Your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited. Proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. I don't care after the third, fourth time. I don't care. <laughs> Even with y'all I, niggas. Like, I love I, y'all I, niggas to death. But y'all start talking about the same shit over and over again. about uh, Bro, uh, the first time I cared. The second time I was like, yeah, I remember that shit. The third time I was like, bro, you don't remember telling me that? The fourth time I was like, all right. Nigga. I tell you. I tell you. Yeah, me, four times with Kev. I ain't got, yeah, you got well, you one got time. Me, that. I don't. If you, you, got, you always you gotta get used to that with Kev because Kev tell you the same thing over and over again. I, I do, but it'd be like that be funny <laughs> shit. I'll be forgetting that niggas told no nigga. chances, but he need all the chances. All the chances. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I don't tell y'all negative shit. I might tell you, yo, man, this shit crazy. I tell nah, y'all why. Tell I, I told y'all this shit over. I'm like, yeah, nigga. I'm like, ah, oh, my bad. That's but because I tell them If a person is like that every single day, you don't complain. No, well, I mean, not complaining. You normally I, 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 you'll you'll have a valid reason to have a complaint if you do complain, and it'll be the one time. And I figure that but, shit out. And if y'all yeah, give yeah, me yeah. advice, I actually listen. I like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I'll but try. that's what we come to each other for. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. the conversations aren't dead end. It's not just talking about nah. the same shit over and over again. Just to, at that point, you're just talking about yourself. You don't have nothing else to talk about. You're a boring ass individual. And you got him, and, and this is the this is the climax of your life at this point. Damn, you know what I mean, nah. like, bro. Hey. You gotta get out there. 
It's you got facts, experience. Though. Like Listen. you got yo, you got a bungee jump, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> bungee jump. No rope. Yo, I I told <laughs> motherfuckers to in my <laughs> yeah, I told crazy. motherfuckers. <laughs> Well, I told <laughs> motherfuckers who came with negative shit to me one time, like, yo, I don't want to hear that shit today. Babe, I'm just like, I don't want to hear that shit. I thought you said around your neck. I said, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, go, go fuck it, bro. I don't even want to hear that shit today. Damn, kid, it was like that. I'm like, yeah, it's like that. You come to the same bullshit every day. I go, fuck it. I, I don't want to hear it. Like, I'm good, bro. Like, so, the nigga see me the next time, it's like, keep this shit pushing. Like, all right, you caught the hint. You better come up with some positive shit or some so what, real, like you really have an issue that you're just trying, you know, that you need some advice and you're trying to seek help for it. But if you're just trying to come ruin my fucking day because you're fucking depressed, man, I don't wear that shit. Let me, let me ask y'all. You got a friend. Your friend is not necessarily complaining about the same thing, but they're they're just finding problems with their life. They're in a really downward spiral. And that does a, that does start to affect your energy and you're like, dog. But they're really in a downward spiral. How do you help that friend, or do you help that friend, or do you get away from that friend? It depends. On, I mean, it depends on how close that friend actually is. Um, somebody who comes by from time to time, but not your best friend. Not like somebody you're like, oh no, that's my nigga. Nah, but somebody that you like, yo, we talk from time to time, and you know, we we hang out. Like I said, you give them that advice that you intended on giving them. But it's everything. It's not just one thing. They oh, just having a rough damn. time. Well, damn, that's a lot of shit going on. I mean, I don't know, bro, because say their life is is going through turmoil, and and your life is going through turmoil simultaneously. Mm. How the fuck can you help someone else while you're trying to help yourself? You know what I mean? Interesting. Uh, yo, My I grandfather used to always tell me, "You got to look out for number one before you could do anything else for anybody else." You know what I mean? You can you can help people with little stuff. Oh, you need a ride somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I can manage that. But once once it started really getting into like life shit, you got kids, you got a job, your time is already spaced out with the things that you do as it is. It's hard to fit somebody else's problems in your schedule, even if you want to help them. That's why I say giving advice, a person who's looking to conversate with you should be looking for some type of advice or Maybe some, some type of simulation to the fucking life. Exactly. Have you gone through this before? And and if you did, what did you do? But you just, I mean, I understand. Sometimes people just want to vent. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to just get shit off your chest. But like I said before, nigga, you get to say that shit two times before the third time. I'm looking at you like, nigga, we had this conversation before. And the fourth time when you try to call me, I might not even pick up. Be honest with you. <laughs> If if a motherfucker's come, if somebody's coming to me to vent, I let them vent, dog. I let them get that shit off their chest. Yeah, you know what I mean, I just let them. I let them. I let them go through it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And sometimes you, know, so you like a good story better. too. Yeah. You know so what I, I mean? let you like, oh, What's the fuck is going on here? Let me hear what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I let you yeah, feel man. better about your life that you actually got that shit off your chest and I actually pay attention. You ask me for solutions. I'm, be, I'm like, I'm gonna ask you one time. Do you, 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 you really want me to tell you what's wrong? I'm be blunt. I'm gonna be dead fucking honest with you. I'm like, yo, eighty percent of the fucking problem is you. Like, you really got damn. Like, no, hear me out. Eighty percent of the problem yeah. is you. You, you know, what I'm saying? or say you had a a bad job that's not paying no fucking money, and you come to me. I'm like, yo, why the? F- it's your problem. You love going there. You haven't tried to find somewhere else, even think about starting over. Like, yo, you'll look up 10 years ago by and you still have this fucked up place and now you can't go nowhere. Instead of giving them another 10 years of your fucking life, how about you go find another job, get these people their two week notice because you kind of care about them and move the fuck on. Do what, you know, do something you might like or enjoy or that might have a better paying situation. If it's a fucking female or a relationship shit, oh, I'm gonna tell you what it is. If if it, if who the fuck was it? Uh, Don't say no names. Somebody <laughs> I work, a female I was working with was telling me about a dude. I was told it straight up, like yo, good, I mean, good save. Nah, no, I, no, I'm dead ass. And um, I told her like yo, that's what men do. I think he was like he didn't find it. I say yo, like 
He didn't what, he nigga? Gonna, find her attractive? I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, find her attractive anymore, okay, and he was okay. going through it, <clears throat> and he was going through some shit at his job, so she asked me, and I told her straight up, like, yeah, Leave we him. do that sometimes. We fuck up sometimes. Like, you got, if you really love him, you're going to give him another chance. You know what I'm saying? You should give him another chance. You know, you're going to wind up probably going back to him, so maybe you should give him some time to, you know, fix whatever you got to fix and, and go back and fix that. Oh, no, I think I'm done with him. Are you truly done with him? Can you see him with somebody else? Well, I don't know. I really don't want nobody around my kids. All right, cool. You can't see him with nobody else. So maybe y'all should figure out how to fucking maybe do some therapy to get this shit straightened out because don't be no asshole because, you know, he don't find you attractive or he don't want to be with you no more. Now you drag his fucking kids away. That's some sucker shit. Yeah. He don't want to be with you. He don't want to be with you. He, don't, he ain't saying nothing about his kids. He just don't want to be with you. Hit the gym, maybe, bitch. If that's the case, maybe you should find somebody else and let him find somebody else and y'all be happy co-parenting. But if y'all really love each other and y'all really think about getting back together, just take a fucking break. Don't talk to nobody. Don't fucking sleep with nobody. Don't do nothing because if you do that, you're going to fuck up your relationship when y'all get back together. Y'all going to be constantly be fucking arguing. So don't do that nut shit. So you got to figure out what you want to do. If you want to get back with him, take a break. That don't mean go sleeping around. Come back together, work that shit out. If you're done and he's done, move the fuck on. Raise the kids mutually. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But don't drag him through some bullshit. I'm speaking to you because you asked me and I'm a male. I'm speaking to you how another male will look at this situation. I don't know him. I know you. But I ain't going to say drag this nigga through the fucking mud because you upset with your problems. You asked for an honest answer. I mean, I, I, honest opinion, I gave you two. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. So I don't see nothing I'd, wrong with that. I'd have told him to leave him. I, yeah. I'm not going to tell nobody. You messing with your energy, here. girl. You messing with your energy. Leave him and the kids. Uh, that's a, she's a fuck they, call that, they call that a twofer. <laughs> you just so, me over, baby girl. <laughs> so, clean so what do y'all do with? Because I'm pretty sure everybody has. What do you do with people that is like family members that is just like negative? But you know, what I mean, this ain't no fucking. And I'm gonna make this clear. This ain't no. This is a family member that you're close to that you've been around a lot. But now you know they turn negative. Like, what do you do with that situation? Take a break from them, or or just avoid them altogether. It's, it's it's one of those things. I got I got a couple like that, not not a bunch, but sometimes it's like, listen, if I know that you, if I know that you're the type that you would affect my energy, like you're draining, you're just a draining individual, then I can't necessarily be as present as I maybe once was because it doesn't benefit either one of us, especially if. Like, cause I feel like I ain't always got to help. Like they, like the person who's draining you isn't always asking for your help. Sometimes when you get around them and they just start talking to you and it's just like, damn, you ain't have a good day and how, like you have a good day or nothing. Like, like you always just somebody always doing something to you. Always don't got no money. You always got something going on. Okay. That's when I got to hit you with it. Hey, how you doing? Oh, all right. Yeah, that's crazy. Here, I'm going to go out here. You know what I'm saying? Or the phone ring and you look at that motherfucker and say, do I really want to be bummed out today? I'm having a great day. Man. When we had flip phones. You know what I'm saying? Or <laughs> ignore. Or whatever. And now you're just hitting the, hitting the side. You see? It? Yeah. <laughs> and, I've, and I've done that multiple times because to me, man, I can love you. We can love each other, yo. We can love each other. I think people don't understand that. What the fuck is going on with my camera? We can love each other. It's okay. It's okay for us to love each other from afar. But we're not best friends. And we don't have to be best friends. You're my family. And if I can't do anything to help you, okay, you broke and, and that shit is fucking with you. You broke... You know what I mean? And that shit is fucking with you. You in a world of trouble with your finances. But I can't help you because I'm not rich. We I, we can't be two broke motherfuckers getting together and complaining all the time. Because I want to change it. Yeah. And I'm going to try to figure out some shit to change it at the very least. Hey, man, right now, I'm listen, I'm trying a whole bunch of new shit. And it all don't go like you plan to, but I'm trying. 
I could have just stayed where the fuck I was at, but I'm trying new shit. Sometimes that's what you got to do when it ain't going to be comfortable. But if I tell you that, you like, yeah, but yeah, then I got to hit you with the, hey, how you doing? All right, I got to go out here. That's it, man. It just depends on how close, like I said, it depends on how close you are to that's me, especially close, if you're family. Close. If you're somebody that's, that's what really I just close, said. I'm going to tell, I'm going to, I'm going to have to tell you about yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what I feel is going on with you and how you are affecting me. And if you still want to be within each other's presence and still do what we normally do, then you're going to have to figure something the fuck out. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't really have the energy for somebody else's negative energy. I already got my own shit going on. You know what I mean? And it's all right when you're bantering back and forth about some shit that's that's going on between you two. But when you're just getting it from one side consistently, that shit just starts fucking with you. Starts fucking with your mind frame. Now your shit starts going in a different direction. They say you hang with the people that you you want to do the same type of shit. If you want to be rich, you don't hang with broke people. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to have the same mind frame. You know? And I got I have to express that to those that would be close to me like yo if we want to continue to hang man you got to figure something out because you're not just going to be sitting here just putting a damper on my damn day every time you come through i'm looking for you know some nostalgic times you know what i mean i'm looking for some fun some laughs i'm not i'm not here to just go down this rabbit hole of fucking depression with you not now we've talked about it i said now you need to hit me with some positive shit now you know what I mean? What's what's good going on in your life? And then let's try to pivot from there. Yo, uh, what you just said just made me think of something. Because I've done this before also. I've done this before. Is What the fuck is up? What's that shit doing there? Anyway, when it comes to if this is your friend, this is your true friend, like you saying y'all close, or excuse me, family member, y'all saying y'all close. At that point, do you consider it your job like okay i've seen the I, kev said they got about three or four times right so when you get the two and y'all talked about it at that point when you see them do you now just try to cut it off at the fucking cut it off at the knees when the person said listen cut it off at the knees when the person gets into that shit hey, hey no 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 no. yeah I, what I, good I, happened this week for you i don't even i'm like yo i don't like i said before I tell you straight, i don't want to talk about that shit well i might ask them, what did you do about, about it, it? What did you do about it? Don't tell oh, me. Oh, y'all, y'all don't try to spin what it. Y'all just, about it. Y'all what just... did you do about it? Don't tell me what happened. If okay. I already know what happened, what did you do about it? You ain't do nothing about it. All right, we we're not even gonna talk about that then. Talk the about something else. Yeah, yeah I'm don't just right there. Right. You don't try to redirect the energy to try to get them, you know what I mean? To get them on a different no. train of thought. I'm oh, all right. I'm sorry. I'm just curious. I try if Y'all, y'all the first, ones saying family close and shit. I don't give a fuck. Oh, and your family close, I mean, you try to say, you try. You try. Like, once, you, once you tell them, yo, what did you do about it? If you didn't do hey. nothing about it, then there's no reason to talk about it. You know what I mean? I need to hear some results out of this conversation. Hey. This conversation hey. that you want to have with me over and over again. I don't understand what the point of it is. She left I me and my kids. <laughs> bro, I, I, I get the uh, yo, bro, like real shit. Get the fuck, like yo, man, cut, bro, get the fuck over it. Like, oh, they, they like, fired I, me, I, man. I say, how fucking long are you going to worry years. about this motherfucker leaving you with your kids? Did you go to court? No, I we ain't, you ain't obviously you ain't doing shit about happy, trying to see man. your fucking kids. Are you dating? No, I mean, nigga, look at you. You My ain't got your work no more. Like, uh, well, look, man, look, bro. Real shit. I don't even know where to go. After Real that. shit. Like, I was That's you. what I'm saying. You, you never know. Look, 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 I was you. Look, look, I was you. Know. You go pay for a fucking hooker and chalk that kid shit up till they get 18, dog. Like, if you ain't gonna Can make you, no, you ain't gonna make no efforts. Niggas and niggas will look at you with the wide eye. Like, all right, now you get the hint. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. Back like, you've been running no the same Kevin, story with me every want. fucking day. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Like, you coming with that bullshit? Oh man, go somewhere else. Like. Here, <laughs> drink, nigga. Sit and drink. Drink your problems away from me. That is what I'm not. Gonna enjoy that is not. Work. No, that is I not what we're going to do. Ever. Make it I, worse. Anybody else I, out there who's listening, no, you don't drink your fucking problems away. No, I ain't gonna say doing it either. But just say, hell, bro, have a fucking drink with me and chill the fuck out. Like, <laughs> just, like, just 
Like you getting on my fucking nerves. Like I don't want to hear that shit. Yo. I told plenty of motherfuckers, yo, I don't want to hear that shit. It, it, oh, it, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I hear when they be crying, I be looking with stone face. Say? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> oh, yo, God, yo, God. I don't want to talk like that to you. <laughs> and they be crying, trying to say my name. And they be in tears. And sh- I don't want to hear that shit. Who are these people? Yo, muff- there's a couple motherfuckers I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. And motherfuckers would be like, walk away from me, like, all right, man, you fucked up. I don't want not. And they be looking at people, other family or people I know, like, yo, bro, you fucked up. I don't give a fuck, man. I, I don't hear that shit all the time. You want to hear that shit? No, nah, but you know, maybe. Nah, did you want to hear that shit? Not really, kid. All right, cool. We don't got to hear that shit now. Ain't y'all happy? All right, like, come with some, yo. come with some good vibes next time. You taking a survey? Come with the good energy. It's crazy. I'll make you avoid. You want to? I'll make you avoid. Did you care? I will make you avoid me. Like I will. Why you bullying the person with depression? (laughs) I'm not bullying because what I hate when a motherfucker do with bad energy. Like yo, I have problems, and I have a lot of problems. Motherfuckers don't know about. But instead of me crying to everybody every fucking day, it's like yo, how do I punch the first problem in the fucking mouth and get it out of my way? How do I I conquer this first problem? That's my thought process every day when I wake up. If I got issues that I'm really, well, how the fuck do I conquer this shit? Because it doesn't solve. I figure that shit up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm not going. If I'm talking to somebody about my problems, that's because I think this motherfucker got the answer for me. Right. And I'm trying to find out the motherfucking answer. Like I used to have issues. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna front. I go to my dad's house and I would literally sit there with my dad for an hour because my dad is just like me. He wouldn't pull no punches with me. He went, he ain't fucking sugarcoating nothing. He just giving it to me raw, no diddy. Um, <laughs> I was, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had it, nigga. So <laughs> I'm just sitting there listening. And he'd be like, all right. And, and you know what I mean? And it feels good because I talked, I sat with my dad also and, and he could see I'm going through something. And all the gems he gave me, I just start applying that shit in my eye is starting to change. Like what, I knew this nigga, what, I knew this nigga would have the answers. What, what if you went to your dad and he was like, you, this is your third time. Nah, cause I don't go back to my dad. This is, this is number three. Fuck, I don't go back to know my dad with the same problem. Your I problems had ain't, Your problems ain't fixed yet, nigga. <laughs> nah, I don't go back to the same, like, yo, I don't go back to my dad. Like, yo man, you know, I tell my dad I lost my yeah, job. He said, yo, go get a job. I'm not coming back to him a month later. Oh man, pubs, I still ain't got no job. It's like, yo, he sees me. He like, yo, how the job cut going? Son? Right. I'm working on right. the pops, and that's it. That's all I got. Yo, I'm working on it, pops. I ain't got to say nothing else. I'm working on it. Like, all right, you know what I mean? If you need me, let me know. All right, cool. I'm not gonna call pops. I ain't calling you to this. Like, yo, I'm at the bottom. Mm. Like, I, I'm in desperate mode. Like, I'm about to do something stupid. Let me call you first, see if you can help me out if I do something dumb. Or you or you'll talk me off the ledge of doing something dumb. But and, yeah, man. I, I, can I ask y'all the reverse question? And I'll answer as well. What's up? Has anybody ever been too happy or too like they shit is too? And every time they come around, you like get this happy motherfucker. Like, I'm happy, but goodness fucking gracious, get this person away from me because. They on another level. Have it, has that ever happened? I think I think happy. I think I seen a motherfucker with just too like it just look like too cartoonish happy. It's yeah, like it's goofy just, cartoonish. It's, it's like, yeah, like yo, get the know, fuck away from me. Like you're not having a great day, laugh. son of a bitch. <laughs> Cause I laugh when they get around me because it's funny. Oh man, get the fuck away from me, bro. I I, I, I can't do this shit today. But in you, the morning is when it tends they to. They feel good up. energy. If you like that first thing. You're not a morning person. I'm not. Wake if up, you kid. like that first thing and you motherfucking got that giddy shit going on, then hell no. I, I need a little distance. But Grumpy ghost. Throughout the day, if, if, you know what I mean? Depend, it really depends on how my day is going. <laughs> my shit all fucked up. I'm high as hell right now. Yo, you know what I had one time? Because I go to work early, so... Crack cocaine. I would have a nigga get in my truck 
and I'm like, yo, I don't like three o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, I'm not a morning person. This nigga just all oh, mad energy. First thing in the morning, I'm like, yo, bro, give me the nine o'clock and we'd be on the same page. Yeah. It's nigga, like, still, yeah, don't care. Don't don't care. I'm like, yo, didn't I tell you chill the fuck out? He's <laughs> on the nigga. Then, but at nine o'clock, I will apologize. Like, yo, my bad for earlier. Nigga, just nigga, I told you I'm not in this bitch. first. <laughs> oh, God. Put your hands where my eyes can see, nigga. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> nigga, just be in the truck. Yo, man, I had a nigga one time get in my truck, man. It's, that nigga nah, he always watch. The nigga got in my truck, right? He was souped to be at work. It's three o'clock in this morning. I'm like, this. This nigga just screams at the top of his fucking lungs. Just, yo! Nigga, I was like this. So it's scary, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I said, yo, man, chill the fuck out. I get too early for this shit, motherfucker. Didn't I tell you? I ain't no fucking morning person. Nigga just looking at me. I'm spazzed out on this nigga. Then when I finally woke up, like I really like God. I'm sorry, yo. Hey, sorry, yo. <laughs> we had to apologize. Like, your energy couldn't match with that nigga energy. You bro, was the one was fucking like, up his vibe, <laughs> bro. Cause yo, you understand? It's like I ain't a morning person. Several seats, <laughs> motherfuckers see me in the in the morning. They see me, yo. What's up, kid? Boom, that that that. What's up? What's up? What's up? Boom. Keep that shit pushing. Read yeah, the yeah. room. Talk a little Read bit little, briefly about the basketball guy. game. But niggas no. coming to me with problems first thing in the morning. I just be staring at them like, yo, what kind of problems they come to come to with yeah. you in the morning? Well, Trash you n- know now in the position I am, niggas <laughs> come to me like, yo, yo <laughs> what we say? That nigga say. <laughs> That nigga say sexual problems. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> yo, tell him what the fuck kind of trash problems could you fucking have in the morning? <laughs> yo, like, <laughs> yo, be surprised, Garb- niggas. Garb- niggas Garb- be trying to Fritz, my nigga. Yo, because <laughs> niggas, you ever have somebody? They don't. I don't think they necessarily mean to have bad energy. But they tell you too much. Oh. You don't want to know that much about their life because, like, I don't like. I know you, but nigga. I don't know Never. you. Like, I don't want to hear that you just caught your wife sucking another dude off. And we just been working together for like a couple of years. It's like I had a nigga no, tell me some been wild working shit. together for a couple of years. Bro, nah, son, no. No, nah, you should <laughs> tell me. I work with you. I'm feeling tired. Our relationship in yeah, a couple of years. You, no, you, no, our you relationship in, is you at put work. In hours of work. Think about it. You probably nah, see that no, nigga more than you no. see in your wife because no. you, you see this nigga every single day for no. hours at a time. No, if our relationship <laughs> is based on the time I clock in to the time I clock out, it's problem. It should be problems at work that we should be talking. Okay, about. if you went to his house for break and ate at his house. Are you now? Then you, I'll be kind of okay. entitled to hear the problems because okay. I went you to go. your there house. You there you go. I mean, what if it was but a no nigga should be and like? What if what if it was a coworker? Damn! How could you, Janine? I, I don't care. Like I, man, nigga, I had a nigga tell me about like his wife is oh, cheating, damn. and he caught. I'm just looking at this nigga like I had no response for this shit because I'm like. Damn, that's crazy. In my brain, I'm saying, what makes you think we're this cool for you to be telling me this shit right now? <laughs> All I could say was hit it with the black. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. That's the number Damn. one go to right there. No, that's, that's crazy. You just gotta keep it moving. Do your thing, bro. Nah, bro. I ask questions after that. I'm sorry. Like See, that's white, white people. Man. White people don't you know what the damn that like, crazy like, is. Damn, you know who did it? You know who she did it to? You know nah, this nigga here hyping a nigga up to go kill him. I'm not. Yeah, I, mean, I just, I just you, listen. If you feel comfortable enough, it was your to brother. Tell me that then you should be feeling comfortable enough to give me the details because now no. my day at work is going to go by a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? If my day was boring beforehand, you sorry. You, you don't want that weighing on you, dog. Like that's yeah, a my weight problem. That, it, it wouldn't weigh, weigh on me, and put on it you, dog. My way, and I wasn't get it ain't it ain't my wife, and I wasn't the one getting my dick sucked by her. So at that point, I'm just looking at you like, damn. And now I got to see how you work. 
You know what I'm saying? Because depending on what what you do on the floor, if you if you like my assistant or something like that, I got to I got to have people somebody swap you out because nah. you're not gonna be in the right frame of mind, and I can't have you messing up my numbers. I just don't want to hear it. Because once they tell you, once they tell you one thing, it's like every time they see you, yo man, let me tell you what happened now, man. She gonna spend a night with a nigga house, then call me and ask me, could I pick up the kids? <laughs> like I don't want to hear none of that shit after that first yo, initial story. I, yo, I think I heard somebody. There's tell different me parts one of the time. story. I might. I, I mean, I'm sorry. Sometimes it if you about to volunteer okay. the information, I ain't gonna go and ask you what happened. If it was, somebody tell me a third party shit. Oh, yo, you no. heard about that nigga and his wife? I don't really care. But if you tell yes, me you what's happening in your life while we working and you feel comfortable enough, nah. it ain't no I, different than watching TV to me. Nah, I'm going to hit you with one. This ain't true, but it was like kind of close to the situation. It's I true. just don't want, I, nah, I ain't going to tell the truth. But what about if a motherfucker came to you like, man, I just caught my fucking 14 year old daughter doing coke and like now I got to take mm. her to rehab. Mm. That's and why you I'm... just know this nigga from work. He got to get it out. Yeah, he got to. And this out. is a lesson for me because now I need to talk to to with her mother so we can make sure that we can take the proper precautions that she isn't like this nigga's child. Y'all, <laughs> you know y'all, tell, I mean? y'all, y'all tell me coke that. Problem? I have no idea. Y'all yeah. tell me that I'm genuinely from concerned. Him, from that nigga. She took it from that yeah, nigga. Right. <laughs> she took my coke. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got a bigger problem, buddy. Selfish bitch. When a nigga felt comfortable <laughs> enough to tell me something along them lines, and I'm just like in shock, like, yeah, but I don't you think the, you should you be telling me this, dog. Dog. Everybody, I don't think you should be. Don't aren't you the person at your job that has to have an open door policy? Yes, I, I am. Guy. But I you're the guy. So. Big dog, Kevin. you're the guy. You like, are like the wise. counselor. I'm You're not the a counselor, counselor of everybody's emotions and feelings. You're that, the shit, mediator. that shit right there the is training me too. Yeah, yeah. He's like a counselor. That shit Slash training mediator. That shit draining me too dry. right now. Real shit. Like it I had is. to take I had to take a couple of days off of work because I'm like, yo, I, I can't Mental walk into this shit. You were taking on weights. Like much, I sir. thought I was like the, the, the time I told you, I thought I was having a heart attack and shit. Like it was a certain individual that kept calling my when this motherfucker called my phone is like, like my pressure went up. Like I don't want to hear this nigga today. But, Energy, but at the same token, like you had to. I gotta hear this nigga so I can keep him the fuck because I, I do have a job that I'm obligated to do. It was like I don't want to talk to this nigga today. It's like yo, yeah. get to the fucking point of your the problem. The risk is not worth it. Yeah, don't take me all the way around the fucking block. The guy to the point I just told nigga straight up, like, yo, man, let me, let me be honest with you. I ain't I like you first you try to do the kitty gloves and you know, just, I mean, let me get to the root of the problem. Yo, nigga, it's you. What you nah nigga, fuck all this. We not doing this shit today. You're the fucking problem. You're causing 90% of your you are the fucking problem. Like, damn, it's like it's damn it's like that, Kevin. Like, yeah, it's like that. <laughs> like, I've been trying to tell you without telling you. And giving you little crumbs, but I guess you don't. I guess you want me to take the gloves off and hit you in the face, bare knuckle, nigga. So I got to. That's wow. Sound. But it's like, yo, that shit. But that shit weighs on me. It's like, yo, I don't want to answer a phone call from you. Like, I don't. Like, I don't want to talk to you right now. Personalities, man. But let me ask y'all this then: Have y'all ever felt like y'all put some bad juju on some people? Like y'all was going through something and you put too much. Like probably. you had to look at you, yeah. Probably I can't say I haven't. I, I most likely definitely have. Um, but More I do feel like you better have. You know, what I mean? a, you, yeah. You but she'll let me. Features. She'll let me know. She'll tell me like, well, stop telling me if you ain't gonna do nothing. She'll she'll be like that, and that's that's what it is. And then I'll just be quiet and deal with it myself, like I like I've always done. But I think that's the Aries for you. With me. <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit more self aware, so sometimes if I'm talking a little bit too much about myself, I'll I either point it out and say, "Yo, sorry if I'm doing that," or I'll I'll just try not to do it next time. Like I try my best. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I try my best. Nah, nah I, listen, I know I I was going through my little issue and shit. I I knew I like I it almost fucked my relationship up, but I just you know I was just in a dark place and I just I didn't know how to get out. I, 
thank God I kind of got out of the funk, but I was in a funk, man. Like this was the only thing that was like kind of saving me. Put the juju like, on you. Like, yeah, I just I was like, man, I I think um I'm fucking up. Like I really bring my problems that I have that I'm trying to deal with internally. I ain't really talking to nobody about it because I ain't the type of person. But like it's leaked like me trying to keep it bottled up. The shit is leaking out into my relationship and I can see my bad energy is leaking out to my relationship as I'm trying to think I'm containing something. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, because it's like it, it, sometimes you don't want to be a burden on somebody. Sometimes you just don't want to like, like talk about what you're going through in life. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I, Man, I, sure, like, I you just don't want to seem like you asking for help, even if you know you're just venting. But you don't yeah. want to, you know somebody else has already gone through shit, especially when it comes to like your other half. You know what I mean? Because you don't when you're living in the same household, you don't have to even say anything. They can feel your energy from whatever you're going through just by how you act. You know what I mean? Your body language, the way you're just talking about other shit, you know what I mean? Your focus. All that shit come into play. And and if you've been with somebody for a long enough time, they already know that you're going through something that you not, don't want to talk about, which we've had an episode about that before. Yeah. Men not talking about their problems and shit like that, the energy it brings. Hey, it becomes a problem, but that's part of that's part of being a man, and then you pass that trauma right down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just bottle it up until you have a fucking stroke or something. I was just that's what bit. I was scared about. Man, that's what I was scared about doing. I'm like, God damn. Have you been so doing anything start, about it? Uh I think I had a couple times uh, uh, about it. I think I talked to talked to people that was dealing with the same issue. Like, you know, my, my mom and you know what, what happened with me and my brother, my brother's situation, like that was bothering me. So I just started talking to them individually, like you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we can like bounce it off of each other when we was like you can see like all right this oh man it, she, she acting way too happy and doing way too much I like all right dang normally her let me, let me holler at her and like and you like oh yeah you have your days too all right bet that's what's up I thought I was the only one yeah you know I mean talk to this one like yo bro you doing too much here what's up yeah all right all right you going through the same thing I'm going through. It was like it was like it was, it was like a taboo topic not to talk to each other about. Mm. But I just said fuck it. I'm just gonna just start talking to motherfuckers about it, and it's just, you know what I mean. Hopefully yeah. we can all vent and get this shit up off our chest because it's not something you want to. That's something you don't really want to like. You don't like burdening people with, especially if nobody knows or or been through that. If nobody ever been through that kind of situation, sometimes the advice you hear is like. Oh man, this ain't what I was looking for. Like, I like I remember motherfucker told me, like, yo, man, time heals all wounds. I used to believe that shit. And then I'm like, that's the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> I think time allows you to fucking deal with it a little bit better. It ain't healing shit. It's all that wound is gonna always be there, but it just you're able to deal with it a little bit more. You have a little bit more understanding, but you're going to have days where you're going to go down that rough patch. Like I yeah. have, rough, I have days where it's just, oh nigga, I can't stop crying. Yeah, it's like it's like all right, fuck. It's one of them days, but them days is now getting further apart. Where it was every day to once a month, it's every couple of months. All right. Damn, twice this year I'm good, but the, the pain still, process. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the pain. I mean, yeah. So that's you know what I mean. So that energy that I had at that time when it was like fresh and new, like that shit was just leaking out at home, and getting on here was a place where I could just say whatever the fuck I want, mm. do whatever the fuck I want, just wild the fuck out. You know what I mean? And I'm giving off. The energy I'm giving off is positive, wild energy. Where sometimes. some, yeah, it was sometimes. <laughs> and it, but, but most of the other times when I was going through my shit, it was wild, negative energy. Like I was taking shit to the fucking extreme. Like I was, it was a point. I motherfucker say something to me. It was like, all right, I guess we're going that route. You know what I'm saying? 
where I would never even think about taking it that route. It's probably like I probably walk away from it, or it's, to me, in my ear, it's just words. Now, it's, it, you know, them same things that just, just to be words are a threat to me, where I have to like, oh, this nigga just talking. It's like, nah, I'm taking that shit serious. Like, I'm about to see, I'm about to test your metal, see if you about that right now. And that's when I realized I was like, yo, man, I gotta get some help because I'm going to wind up doing something that's going to fuck my life up. So that's that was that's, my bad energy moment. That's probably the thing I would suggest to everybody that that is self aware enough to know that they're walking around with some bad energy. Energy is real. Energy is real. It's transferable. It's can. It's not created or destroyed. It's it's kind of what we run off of. And if you know you walk around with some bad energy, try to fix that. I can't fix that for you. Yep. I don't care what advice I give you. I can't fix it for you. Just like if I got bad energy, you can't fix it for me. I don't expect you to. I got friends. I got family. I can get advice from you, but I can't. I, you're not going to fix it. I have to fix it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you do need somebody that can give you the tools to fix it. I'm always on the side of therapy. Better help. Better help. I think is a more affordable way to do therapy now. Like you can just do that shit over the over the computer or whatever. And um, I think you just got to pay. Like you know, what I mean, they make it more affordable. But get yourself some therapy. Try to fix that bad energy. I don't know. Try Reiki. That's 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 like energy healing and stuff like that. Like try some some Western. No, we're Western. Try some Eastern medicine. Like go on a quest to fix this, the stuff you got going on to improve your energy so that you can have a better life. It's not going to fix me. You can have a better life. So that's that's my thing on energy. I got I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Well, on that note right there, we're going to wrap this thing up, man. We uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in on a Monday. Special episode of the podcast, man. And like we said, get the bad energy motherfuckers out of your life. We out of here. Peace.